I just know that the Grammys, if they want real artists to keep coming back, they need to stop playing with us. We ain't gonna play with them no more. That's Hollis, Beyonce video. And Beck needs to respect artistry, and he should have given his award to Beyonce. And at this point, we tired of it. Because what happens is, when you keep on... Mr. West, good evening. We are anonymous. It seems that you just don't know when it is appropriate to blurt out your opinions. This is consistent with you. You always have to steal the moment from others who work equally as hard for their recognition. And you assume and even expect everyone else to be aligned with your personal opinions. You smack other artists in the face if they don't fit within your own personal definition of an artist. You're like a spoiled child in a grown man's body, who is ready to set off a boiling temper tantrum the very moment you don't get all the things you want. I bet your wife is subconsciously fed up with raising a little boy for a husband. And I am sure your mother would have been so proud of your behavior. Can I ask you something? Would she have stood beside you and your wife's decision? You know, to break the internet with Kim's full nude photos? There's nothing wrong with sacrificing your morality for a little bit of extra income and attention. Am I correct? You seem comfortable with your wife as she continues to milk society's attention with their uncontrollable obsession with sex. A woman who skates through life from the praise and worship fueled by the leak of a sex tape on the internet? Really Mr. West? Is this the best you could do with so many talented artistic women across countries? By approving this irresponsible behavior, you are accepting the reality that one day your daughter will face the repercussions of this photo with classmates in school. You also are condoning this to the young girls who follow Kim on Twitter and witnessed her success as she continually rises to fame and stardom, using her body. What a fantastic moral to spread, right? Well, there's an upbringing that would make every mother leap for joy. After all, what's wrong with teaching teenage girls that society actually rewards you for posing new? Let's just influence the whole country to embrace perversity. That's a good way to lead society, as if it wasn't bad enough already. What a great idea you can teach your daughter. Why not take it further? Why don't we get a family portrait of all of your greasy bottoms lined up for the whole world to see? That would gain you a ton of attention. You can use it to promote your new shoes. That would be genius. And you can post an update picture each year. And set the new standard for family values and business marketing. I'm a Christian. Ah. Yes, your mother would have loved it. I'm sure she would have jumped right in the picture for her own close-up. Oh Mr. West. I'm sure she would have been delighted with the both of you. I bet even Jesus himself would be proud to walk with you. My, you've changed so much since your humble beginnings. But you've never once been humble, you've always been egocentric. You see Mr. West, we once had a great deal of respect for you. We admired your art, creativity, original vision, and non-conformity in your work. But now, Anonymous has targeted you here with this message because you disgrace what we stand for. When you self-proclaim to be a modern renaissance prodigy in your radio and TV interviews, with such an obnoxious history, it pisses us off. We watch the things you say and the way you depict yourself. You are not anywhere even close to the status of any of our brothers and sisters who made the renaissance period what it was. I think it's time to awaken from your insanity, Mr. West. In reality, you're not a renaissance man, you're just a new slave that the industry uses to help keep the population in a cycle of stupidity and distraction. Yes, you are an artist, but your example is still no different from the rest of Hollywood's figures, just programming the American youth to center all their attention on sex and material growth. The historical men who made the Renaissance era impactful, had actually done things to revolutionize the way we think and understand our world. Many of them were sentenced to death, because they dared to tell the truth, and stood up to the powers who used fear to repress the truth from the people. You on the other hand have changed nothing. Yes, we acknowledge all your talent, Mr. West. But we also acknowledge that you have a large voice, bank loads of money, and a strong following, 
and no one man should have all that power. But, with all of that, one man can change the world. Instead you waste that powerful opportunity and pollute the planet even more with your bickering, loud mouth, overgrown ego, annoying influence, and missionless message. You have no foundation on what it is exactly you were even set here to do for this planet, with all that money of yours. Fashion shows are not going to make the world a better place, Mr. West. You don't have all the answers, your priorities are warped by the Hollywood celebrities that you're surrounded by. In case you haven't noticed, we're now living in a mad world that is falling apart, and your obsessive interest in fashion will not benefit anything meaningful to help humanity's future, in it, it is a complete waste of time. But sadly, you probably will never see yourself in this way. Deep inside of your incredibly large mind, the world is already perfect, and it has no need for any heroes. And it is a pity, because your blind sight will never allow you to see just how empty your accomplishments really are, to the future of our species. You represent yourself as a man of class, yet, everything you say and do is the exact opposite of that. And for that, Anonymous would like to extend a sincere, and jolly, fuck you. You will always be the hot-headed Chicago-born spoiled little brat that you are, and no expensive designer wear can ever cover that up. Anonymous is sounding off the new renaissance era this year for humanity, and if you don't shape up, then your legacy will not be included. Poor examples, such as yourself, will not be tolerated anymore in the new age. You get the power to let power go. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect.